I think maybe I need more time to master that technique. This year, in, in case you could try to, to, to get a, another curry from the future or, or maybe the past, I will put this in Mr. Lister's laundry basket. Quite a safe place to hide things. No one going there, not even in a full radiation suit and a three foot pair of sterilized tones. Hmm. Piece of that big fat sausage in there. Uh, I am sorry, sir. I don't appear to have a sausage attachment on me at the moment. What the hell? Who in the blue blazes are you? Uh, I'm Crichton, sir. Mechanoid Series 284B Fighter 3 Pre, sir. Uh, uh, and you might be? Well, I'm Captain Hollister of the JMC Mining Dressel Red Dwarf. Well, you, you don't look anything like Mr. Hollister, sir. I've seen your picture right before Mr. Lister pinned it to the dartboard and threw sharp pointy sticks at it. Look, you're in trouble now, mister. If this ship's got a brig, you're on it. First you, uh, interrupt my lunch, and... Uh, what are you gonna do with that chicken? Oh, what's this, sir? <sighs> okay, then. Now, beam me back, you metal moron. Come on, come on. It's your turn, Mouth takes you out so slow. Come on, I'm on a roll. Quiet. I'm thinking. This game takes a lot of strategic thought and patience, you know. Come on, slow coach. By the time you play the card, it'll be time for my eighth news of the day. And anyway, what's with the face? There's nothing wrong with my boat race. It's one I always wear. No, not your ugly mush, but the face you're pulling. This is what I call a poker face. Now let me concentrate. Right, now, let's try again, shall we, you hexadecimal halfwit? Right though, matey. Hey, who are you calling hexadecimal? I've got an IQ of 6,000. Well, it's got a 6 in it, but I'm sure it isn't 6,000. Now, let's try again, shall we? Sure. Come on, hit me with it one more time. I'm ready. I can do anything. Enough. Right, let's concentrate. What's 3 plus 4? You really are a complete gimboid, aren't you? I give up. Right, uh, I think I'll play this one. <laughs> Snap, I win again, buddy. I'm so good, I don't know what to do with myself. Oh, I hate this game. What's Rimmer up to, anyway? Uh, he's trying to teach that blonde computer to be smart. Ha! <laughs> That's like trying to get an Alpine Shepherd herder to build an MFI cabinet. Uh, uh, who are you to him? Uh, what have you do with Mr. Listier and Mr. Cat? Hey, buddy, how's it going? You've been sticking your head in the microwave oven again, Crichton. It's us, Custer and Kit. Oh, now I see. I must have accidentally jumped into an alternative dimension when I picked up this pesky, malfunctioning map paddle. And I suppose in this universe you are called Rumor or Rumere, and you're not some sort of egotistical madman with flared nostrils, psychotic tendencies, and unmanageable hair. Hell no! He's all those things and more! Oh, clearly there are some universal interdimensional constants. I suppose there are Holly there. It's Hilly, actually. Ah, oh, that, that Hilly there has an IQ of 6,000. Actually, it's 60, but I can't count anywhere. So who cares? What's that you got there, Quietus? It's a map paddle. It allows you to travel through time and space. Unfortunately, it appears to be malfunctioning at the moment. I must have accidentally jumped into this parallel universe and swapped places with you, Craig. Oh, I think I understand what's happening now. First time this year. We've lost Red Dwarf. Well, Hilly's lost Red Dwarf. I haven't lost it. I just can't remember where I parked it. You thinking what I'm thinking, bud? Yeah, let's grab it.
guys. Guys? Oh well, another three million years on my own. Can't even play with myself. Anyone else for noughts and crosses? Now look what you made me do. We could be anywhere at any time. This place looks familiar. Uh, we're back on Earth. Point me to the nearest carry house. Oh, good to see that some things never change. Hey, what is this place? These windows are just made for my reflection. Looks like some kind of a 21st century IT temple, if history serves me right. Then the minions of Tilliwe occupied this building and were leaders in their field. What do they have in their field? Chickens? No, Kit. Chickens don't live in fields, they live in coops. Must have been cows. Oh, not quite, Mr. Custer, sir. I have a strange feeling in my guilt chip. The last time we used the mud puddle, we changed the course of history and altered the future of JFK. When you erased fried chicken takeaways from history, I think you did Earth a favour. Crichton, you rubber-tipped pencil-headed eunuch. Will you stop bouncing us around like a pair of kangaroos on their honeymoon? Someone will see us. I wouldn't worry, Mr. Roo, Mr. Roo. I have activated the ghost setting on the mouse puddle. Uh, in this universe, uh, nobody should be able to see us. We're, we're quite safe. Well, what do you mean we don't exist? Well, actually, sir, we haven't ever existed anymore. Although this is the part of the time to be conjugating the past and participle never tenses. Good morning. I couldn't understand a word of that, Crichton. Explain simply. Don't worry, Hilly. I can help you with the first bit. Simply means basically. Thanks, Kit. I know where to come next time I need a difficult word explaining. Where on earth are we now? Ah, stone. We must be in a tunnel. Hmm, apparently the Teleware minions dug such tunnels as these to escape from their worked, crazed, power-mad company dictators. Actually, sir, I think you mean work crazed, power-mad company directors, sir. No, I think I was right the first time. Can we please get out of here? I haven't looked in the mirror in the last 20 seconds. If I don't look in the mirror soon, I'll lose first place in the who's who of coolness and coolness catch coolness in the mirror. Uh, just a moment, Mr. Cat, sir, and let me try this. Where are we now? Who cares where we are now, as long as there's a mirror? Looks like a small room or a cupboard. Hmm, definitely not stone. Phew, hey, what's that smell? And don't forget to wash your hands afterwards. <gasps> hey, Whimsy. How come you got different strides on? Well, uh, Mr. Lister, I, I believe that maybe the mat puddle has, has messed up his holographic matrix, or, or perhaps he's just been using his trousers as a latrine again. Home sweet home for you, eh, Captain Bugbutt? What a smee! What a smee! All these mirrors, man, you gotta help me! Security, security! Leg it! Hey guys, absolute culture room! What do you think, ladies?
Hmm, what we need is some precisely constructive advice. Preferably from someone with a sensible haircut. You mean like a, a someone on a, a help desk, sir? Get. Leave this to me, Crichton. I know how to deal with these people. Now look here, Messi. We are having a problem with this device. It is a matter paddle. The problem that we are having is, is that we do not know which location we are going to arrive in. Also, there is no light or audible tone. Have you checked your tinkler? Tinkler? Well, I'm sure Percy's around here somewhere, so... Who's Percy? Uh, never mind, Mom. Crichton! What about your twigs, sir? Oh, I didn't realise you two had been acquainted. Oh, we're not getting anywhere with us, girlie. I thought she was very helpful and polite, Mr. Rimmer, sir. In fact, if I ever come back this way, I believe I may ask her for assistance with my nipple nuts. I'm still in a little bit of trouble getting jazz at home on the right wall. Hey, buddy, are you showing off your boot down there? Yeah, yeah, it's all right, kid. I used to be a technical engineer. Leg it! Leg it! Do you people know what you're doing? I'm calling security. Hey, you guys! All this jumping around makes me hungry and after all, this is a kitchen, I think. Well, sir, I think we have more pressing matters at the moment other than ensuring that your well ample frame is more ample. Quietin, haven't you got that matter pedal fixed yet? Why don't you just cross the dimensional feedback circuit with the crosswave amplitude supply? Who's kidnapped Rimmer and left someone with brain cells in his place? Oh, Mr. Rimmer, sir, I, I've already tried that. It simply appears to be frozen. Hey, if it's frozen, stick it in the microwave. Hey. Hey, I found a couple of pies here. Actually, I could do with a smegonot curry. Enough, all this talk of food is distracting us from fixing the matter pedal. Let's put our heads together and think of an intelligent solution. What if we place it in the microwave? Oh, it's okay. Our rim is back. I've just been upstairs, I've been reading the paper, I was there minding my own business, sat on the toilet, and then there's this blue flash, and these four people appear from nowhere. I am interrupted my constitutional. Toby! <laughs> Hey look, an old style vending machine. Well that seems to have done the trick, sirs. Quick, someone's coming! Hey, where's Rimmer? Uh, he's not here. Oh, sir, spit my nipple up and hope you don't get thirst, get them. Do you think we should celebrate? No, we can't do that. Think of the untold damage he would do on this earth left to his own devices. It's not worth thinking about. We'll have to go back and save him. Hang on a more. What am I saying? No more Rimmer. Woohoo! Let's have a party. Hilly, sometimes I think you're really smart. Sometimes I don't think you're as vain as what you actually make out. Hey, don't go too far. Do you mind? Hey guys, at last. Curry. Quick. Smash the paddle. Smash the paddle. Freeze. Put your hands in the air. Phew. Thank goodness for shirt tape. Ah, local law enforcement time. Captain Hollister of the JMC mining vessel, Red Dwarf. Uh, I've been unscrupulously kidnapped by this git rimmer. Likely story indeed. Spaceship! Well, he does seem to know your name. I don't remember seeing you around here before. I've got my name on my overalls and, and here's my ID card. Well, it does check out okay. 
I was uh, just contemplating uh, to myself um, what to record as my daily greeting. Uh, uh, also thinking what trivial user faults uh, I'll be passed over to investigate, only to find out that it's a user error. They always blame the tools when it's the operator. It gives us a bad name. Well, he does sound like a telework help desk employee. But that's Rimmer, the biggest snakehead and the most useless technician in the universe. Well, I should fit in perfectly here, then. Both of you remain here whilst I call the police. Where have you lot been? I've been having to fight off a horde of ninja-kicking security guards. Oh yeah, Rimmer. More likely you've been cowering under the table like some quivering jelly. I can smell you from here. Yeah, yeah, well, fun that it's been saving all your, your lot's asses. Crichton, can you get us home? Uh, Hilly, any suggestions? You could, but the battery's in the right way round. What? And you didn't tell us this in the first place? What? And spoil all the fun? Cheers, Hill. I've nearly blown up so many times from disappearing and reappearing. Kind of reminds me of my last pub call, actually. Well, everybody, I, I, I guess this is a cheerio. Well, but I'm on a spaceship, this big and it's red. I'm from the future. Red! Testing, one, two, one, two. Is this thing on? Are we ready? One, two, three, four, hit it! It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. It's not unusual to have fun with anyone But when I see you hanging about with anyone It's not unusual to see me cry I wanna die It's not unusual to go out at any time But when I see you out and about it's such a crime if you should ever wanna be loved by anyone It's not unusual, it happens every day No matter what you say You'll find it happens all the time Love will never do what you want to do
It's not unusual to be mad with anyone It's not unusual to be sad with anyone But if I ever find that you've changed at any time It's not unusual to find out to blow the bloody doors off.